Hey guys, what's going on? It's Flip, and as you can tell, I am very burly. I'm growing the beard out. I uh, decided to shave my head, and as you can tell, there's a lot of gray in my beard. I actually need to trim it down. I'm probably going to trim it uh, after this video, but um, I have a pretty awesome haul that I want to share with you guys. So I got four four-ish packages. I got one from Cinema Classics, one from Orbit DVD, and one from Amazon and one from eBay. So I kind of want to break down how I use the various websites. And as you can tell, and I've been selling a lot of stuff, but it's not this amount. My shelves are bare uh, because the wife allowed me to display some uh, some movies out in the living room. And I did. And it started off as just, hey, I'm going to display my favorites. And then it turned into, I'm going to display everything. So this is stuff that, you know, is left over that I'm going to have to eventually take out there. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this haul. Just got back from the gym and I opened up a couple of these and I was pretty damn excited. I actually recorded this video last night, but I had another package come and I was like, crap, I can't upload it. I have to re-record everything and go into uh, one of my favorite releases of the year or, or what will probably end up becoming one of my favorite releases of the year. So let's get into the Cinema Classics stuff. And so like I said, I want to break down how I use these sites Cinema Classics, I get all my Region A stuff. The owner is a great, great, great guy. Uh, he gets stuff early, so he, sh he ships it early. You can buy from his site. Uh, super cheap, super awesome, very fast shipping. Uh, he's just an overall great guy. I would highly suggest if you have any Region A needs, go to Cinema Classics. I then use Diabolic to pre-order big ticket items that I am afraid will go out of print. I've never had a problem with pre-ordering stuff from them. Um, and then they seem to not get a lot of 88 UK stuff. Like, I don't think they have Riccio or Robotrix yet. Um, so I use sites like Terracotta, uh, for all my 88 releases that are, you know, region B that are new. Um, there are a couple here that I got from Orbit, but usually I use Terracotta for the Asian stuff. Like I have, uh, Riccio and Robotrix pre-ordered from them. I have Disciples of Shaolin pre-ordered from them. Um, I, I'm going to be pre-ordering Flag of Iron. I have a bunch of pre-orders from them. They're great. Again, fast shipping, very responsive, very great. Uh, so I use Diabolic because of big ticket items. And then recently I've been using Orbit uh, to just go through my catalogs of Region B stuff because I have a ton of Region B stuff at good prices. And I kind of am like, all right, what gaps do I need to fill? So with uh, Eureka and 88, uh, a lot of Jackie Chan stuff that I've been picking up. Uh, which is awesome because uh, I am filling up a lot of my uh, a lot of my missing holes. Um, uh, but um, yeah, let's get into it here. Uh, the Dawn is Dead with Anthony Quinn. This is a Kino Lorber title. Got this from Cinema Classics. Uh, I heard this was just a terrible, schlocky, uh, crappy version of The Godfather. And you know what? I'm all for that. Uh, and then another crime movie again from Cinema Classics as well. This is uh, Lucky Luciano. I don't know if it's popping up. There we go. Uh, don't know anything about this movie. I'm going in blind. Very excited to check it out. Uh, and then let's get into the eBay uh, title that I picked up from eBay. I was able to find this for $30. Uh, it was not under the name of the box set. Uh, it happened to be like, I was looking just for Westerns and I was looking for Western box sets because I got something from Amazon that we'll talk about. I wanted to get like a multi-movie pack and this was listed. I was very hesitant but I picked it up and it was sealed brand new. Um, I eventually, I did sell my copy uh, recently, sold it for much more than $30 and actually turned a profit with selling mine and then picking this up. But this is the Five Tall Tales, the Bud Bedecker and Randolph Scott set. Uh, I got number 5,573 out of 6,000 again. Uh, this is one of my favorite box sets I've ever owned. Um, I sold it because Mill Creek is putting out a Randolph Scott 12 pack. Um, but then once you sell something as awesome as a set, I immediately regretted it. Uh, even though this doesn't have the 12 films that the Mill Creek set has, uh, all, all five of these are available. So if you don't want to pay what this is normally going for, uh, on the secondhand market, I would suggest just getting the Mill Creek set, but I'm a massive fan of all the special features. The book in here is great. Uh, and I love the belly band design that Indicator does. I think Indicator makes the best box sets. They just don't put out stuff that's catering towards my taste. But I think objectively, they are like the best at making box sets. They have like just so much detail, so many special features. Their books are phenomenal. 
Uh, they really knock it out of the park. I just wish they were, you know, putting out stuff that was more catered towards my taste, but this box set is exactly my taste. Um, all five films are great. Even I just recently rewatched uh, Decision at Sundown, which was my least favorite of the five. And all, and it was a great movie. Like I've still, I gave it, I think three and a half stars out of five on Letterbox. Still a blast, still a great film. Highly recommend you guys check this out. And again, if you can't find this for a decent price, I would say just get the Mill Creek set because the films themselves are really damn good. Um, and then I just got this from Amazon. This was that thing I was talking about. The four movie Most Wanted Westerns collection uh, featuring McKenna's Gold, which I have not seen. That's got Gregory Peck in it. Um, a Man Called Sledge, which is what I got this set for. That is a really fun Western. The Man from Laramie with James Stewart and The Mountain Man with Charlton Heston. So I picked this up for A Man Called Sledge. And then this, I think Man Called Sledge was only available or it was mostly available in multi-packs. And I picked the one with a movie I didn't have that I love, which is The Man from Laramie. Um, and yeah, I went ahead and just uh, grabbed this one. I think all these movies are, yeah, two of them are rated R, two are not rated. Man Called Sledge is awesome in my opinion. Uh, it's a little lesser known, but it's still a ton of fun. Uh, and then we are getting into the massive Orbit DVD haul. So first thing I want to talk about is the Django collection. Volume 2 should be here in a couple days. It is out of print. Uh, and this was out of print, but according to Amazon, this is coming back out again in October. So it looks like um, MVD Visual is uh, reprinting these, but this includes... A man called Django, Django the Runner, Hanging for Django, which I believe Raro Video put that out as well. Um, the Raro one, the quality was kind of bad. Uh, I'm sure the quality on this isn't any better either. Uh, Django, a bullet for you, Return of Django, and Pistol for Django. Uh, yeah, the quality's not going to be that great because it is three movies on two discs. So you get, you, I mean, six movies, two discs, three per disc. Um, and I'm just a massive fan of of westerns especially spaghetti westerns and the J i'm gonna do a guide to django because it's it's really interesting there were like i would say django's the biggest um the biggest character that was spawned from spaghetti westerns uh with a name uh you know i'm not including the man with no name uh but it was such a massive success in italy that in different regions of the world especially germany uh, they got a bunch of Django films and films that weren't titled Django or didn't even have a character named Django in them got slapped with a Django title and released in other parts of the world. Um, I'm going to be doing a guide because I have a bunch of Django offshoots. There's also, I would say the second place is Sartana um, and then Sabata had only a handful, but there's literally dozens and dozens of Django films. Um, and then Sabata's got, I mean, Sartana's got probably a good dozen, maybe two dozen um, but yeah, it's really cool to see, uh, what they rebranded as Django. Cause some of them, like there's one that's just straight up like a horror movie. Um, it's got like a horror movie feel to it. It doesn't feel like a Django film at all, but it's pretty awesome. Um, and then we got some, uh, missing Jackie Chan holes in my collection. Uh, wheels on meals. Love this movie. I showed this off on a stream, but yeah, this is the haul video for September. Uh, great film. Um, and I, and I love Jackie Chan. I mean, obviously, I'm a massive fan of Kung Fu cinema, a massive fan of martial arts cinema, and he is such an important figure um, in that. But for me, my Jackie Chan, my Bruce Lee, was always Sammo Hung and always um, Jimmy Wang Yu. Those were the two that really captivated me and really just, like, drew me, and I liked their films more. Uh, Sammo Hung and Jackie Chan is such a good pair-up. But that's not to take away how important Jackie and Bruce Lee are. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. I'm not the biggest, like, I'm not like a diehard Bruce Lee fan. I don't have to have everything he's done. Um, I think I've pretty much only have seen the films that are in the Criterion set from Bruce Lee. I really respect both of them. But for me, it's Jimmy Wang Yu, Sam Hung that I truly, truly love. Uh, and then more Sam Hung and Jackie Chan, Project A, 1 and 2. Uh, I haven't seen Part 2. I have seen Part 1. Uh, great, great, great film. The plot in this is a little shaky, but... You're watching it for the big set pieces and the big spectacle of it all. And then, uh, surprised I didn't have this at all, uh, Yu Wong Ping's masterpiece, Drunken Master. Great film. Uh, amazing, amazing film. And I was actually blown away that I didn't have that. This one doesn't have the slip cover, but it still has the booklet in it. 
So I really wish Eureka still did that. I wish they would, you know, their 2000 limited editions, if you miss out on the slipcase, you still got the booklet at least. Um, and then I picked up uh, Eureka's uh, release, two films by John Ford, Hellbent and Straight Shooting, part of their Masters of Cinema line. Again, I'm a Western fan, and it's really cool to go back and see where Westerns like first got their start. These films came out in 1917 and 1918. That's absolutely crazy. And the complete runtime is only 115 minutes. Loaded with special features. This is an amazing release. Um, you know, there's aspects of the film that don't obviously don't hold up. Um, but it's really... I just think it's mind-blowing that you, we have an HD release of a movie that came out in 1917. Like, that's just, that just blows my mind. Um, more Eureka stuff. Let's go ahead and get into it. I was not going to pick this up. Was not going to get this, but Orbit had it on their page. And I was like, man, you know what? I might as well get it. And uh, that's Johnny Guitar. Uh, this is their newest release. This is part of their, their only two September releases. We'll talk about the other one here in a second. Did not realize it was in this hardbound case with a book, which is awesome. It's loaded with special features. Again, um, I haven't checked this out. I know nothing about this movie. It was not even on my radar, but I was like, you know what? I'm getting it. Whatever. Um, and then my most anticipated movie of the month is Duel to the Death. I haven't even busted this open. I have an old DVD of this that looks absolutely terrible. This movie is batshit insanity. Some people say it's their favorite swordplay movie. It's up there for me. It's really, truly up there. A lot of early wuxia stuff. Um, a lot of just weirdness, like talking heads that get decapitated. Um, exploding ninjas. It's a really good movie. Uh, and also I just want to say Darren Wheeling, I know a couple of my friends, uh, don't like the artwork on the cover here, but I really love it. I also love the, what our boxer, uh, artwork as well. And he's doing the artwork for the Joseph Quo cinematic vengeance, uh, artwork. So that's pretty damn awesome. Uh, and then we're getting into the 88 stuff here, all from orbit DVD, uh, operation condor, uh, two or sorry, armor of God Two operation condor, um, Jackie Chan, uh, is it Sammo Hung that's in this as well? I am not sure. It's been a years, years since I've seen this movie. Um, probably over a decade. I haven't seen this in a while. But I wanted to pick this up. And I want to say, this is controversial. I am not a big fan of Indiana Jones films. But I do like that movie. I do like the first one as well. Which is getting a release here pretty damn soon. Um, and then uh, 88... Again, just killing it with these uh, Euro Crime special editions, the tough ones. Uh, uh, Hardbound Case. This is the Umberto Lindsay film. Really love the artwork between this and Violent Professionals. Like they look striking together, like side by side. Just absolutely beautiful. Uh, such an awesome, um, su such an awesome movie. Um, and again, Violent Professionals and Tough Ones. I both have the U.S. release. They. Uh, I think Grindhouse put out the tough ones and it has the soundtrack on it. It's a really nice release, which I'm thinking of selling, but I'm not sure. I might keep it for the soundtrack. Uh, and then the rest of the 88 stuff, I went balls walls with the Jean-Claude Van Damme stuff. Uh, Knock off. I just watched this last night. It was, the plot is just so stupid. It's worth the watch alone. Um, whoop, double team right here. I need to pick that one up. Right here with that fell. Uh, Cyborg. A lot of these are directed by Hong Kong directors. Uh, like Ringo Lam and Choi Hark. So I picked them up for that reason alone. I mean, some of them are, but a handful of them are. Uh, Legionnaire. Uh, Ringo Lam film. Uh, in Hell. This is actually pretty cool. So each of these are out of 3,000 with the limited edition slipcase and the uh, extras on the inside. This is the first low number print on anything I've ever gotten. That's, I don't know if that's showing up, but that's number 003. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, Nowhere to Run, who is directed by, where is it at? It's directed by a Hong Kong director, I believe. Um, why is this not showing up? This is, yeah, I'm wrong. It's not directed by a Hong Kong director, but yeah, Nowhere to Run. Maximum Risk. This is the one that's directed by, I think, Choi Hark. No, Ringo Lam. So this is Ringo Lam, Maximum Risk. I'm looking like such a noob here. Um, and then another Ringo Lamb film, Replicant. 
And yeah, that is, I'm missing two of the Jean-Claude Van Damme releases from 88. Uh, what I like about them is that on the spines, they have his face in the year that they came out. All of them are like holographic looking. They're really cool. They're really striking on the shelf. Um, but yeah, that is my haul for the month of September. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What was your favorite uh, release uh, that I picked up this month? And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.